Properties of logarithms. Log base b of x times y will result in log base b of x plus log base b of y. If that seems familiar to you, it should because when we studied logarithms, excuse me, exponents, we said log of two times, excuse me, x raised to the second power times x raised to the third power equals x raised to the fifth power. When we multiply like bases, we added the exponents. So when we're multiplying arguments, and we want to separate those two arguments, we separate them by adding their individual logarithms. Okay? The log of the product is equal to the sum of the log of the arguments. Okay? Same way for this property. We said x to the ninth divided by x to the fifth. When we're dividing like bases, we subtract our exponents. So that would be x to the fourth. If we're dividing arguments, we want to separate that out into two logarithms. We'd say log base b of x minus log base b of y. Okay? Because the log of a quotient is equal to the difference of the logs of the arguments. Okay? Another property of logarithms, log base b of x to the p power. Okay? The log of a number raised to a power is the same as the power times the log of the argument this power becomes a multiplier in front of the logarithm p log base b of x okay three properties that we've actually really studied so far because even that last one is very similar to this property where if we were raising a power to a power we multiplied those two numbers okay bottom two properties here on this page. Log base b of b to the p power. I just told you this property was that this comes down in front as a multiplier. Okay, So it would be p log base b of b. But this is really what I want you to think of. Look at this example right here. If we had log base 2 of 2 to the 6th power, what if we rewrote this problem in exponential form? It would be 2 to the x power equals the argument 2 to the 6th power. Well, if 2 to the x power equals 2 to the 6th power, what does x have to equal to make this an equal statement? x has to equal 6. Okay? So this would be p, excuse me, in this case the 6th would come down here in front as a multiplier and that is what would be left. Well, sorry, not in this case not 6, but in this case p. Okay. Another way to think about this very similar property, log base b of b. Again, if we rewrite this in exponential form, it would be 2 to the x power equals 2. Well, 2 to the first power equals 2, so x would be 1. Another way to think about this, log base b of b, anytime the base and the argument are the same, the answer is 1. Okay? So back up here on this power when we er, on this property, when we bring the p down in front, we have p log base b of b, well log base b of b is 1, all that's left is the p, because p times 1 is p. If we're rewriting each of these logarithms as a single expression, we'd say log of 2 plus log of 5, that would equal log of 2 times 5, which would equal log of 10 log of 500 minus the log of 5 would equal the log of 500 divided by 5 which would be log of 100. Log base 5 of x minus log base 5 of 10. This would be log base 5 of, if we're subtracting like logarithms, we divide the numbers, the arguments. Now we can't go any further because we don't have a value for x so we leave it just like that. On this problem, this 2 becomes an exponent of this argument. We end up with log base 3 of x plus 1 squared. Now, we can go further with this one because I know that x plus 1 squared is really x plus 1 times x plus 1. And I can distribute and get x squared 
plus 1x plus 1x plus 1. So that would simplify to be log base 3 of x squared plus 2x plus 1. Letter I. Again, this multiplier in front would come up here as an exponent, and we would get log of 2m to the fourth, all raised to the third power. Well, if everything inside is being raised to the third power, I would end up with log of 2 to the third, which is 8, m to the fourth, 2 to the third, which would be m to the twelfth. Okay? Simplify each one of these logarithms. Log base 5 of 5 to the seventh, 7 would come down in front as a multiplier, but that would give me 7 log base 5 of 5, and we know that the base and the argument are the same, that equals 1, 7 times 1 is 7. Log base 6 of 6, that's easier than we can sneeze at, that's a 1. Base and the argument are the same, it's 1. But guys, this one's as easy as this one because the base and the argument are the same, remember this comes down in front, and I know the base and the argument are the same because there's nothing written as a base, so I know it's 10, negative 4. This would become log base 12 of, when I'm adding like logarithms, when I combine, I multiply the two arguments, log base 12 of 12, and that would equal 1 for rewriting each of these logarithms as a single expression. This becomes a multiplier to the 4, excuse me, not a multiplier, an exponent. Log of 4 to the third power, which would be log of 64. I'm adding like logarithms, so with the arguments I multiply them. So I have log base 2 of 8x log base 2, again I multiply, I'm adding both logarithms so I multiply their arguments, log base 2 of x plus 3 and x minus 3. Now please don't be confused and think those would cancel out because what you're doing these with these remember is multiplying. That would give me x squared, that would give me negative 3x, that would give me positive 3x, and that would give me 9. Okay. So when I simplify that, I would end up with log base 2 of x squared. Now this is 0, negative 3x and positive 3x, minus 9. Last uh, example on this side, I'd have log base 6 of 8x plus 6 over 2. I'm subtracting these two logs, so I divide their arguments. But each one of these numbers in the numerator is divisible by 2, so I can take this one step further, log base 6 of 4x plus 3. When we know properties like this, we can go ahead and solve equations with them, logarithmic equations. Okay? So starting here, if I ignore this equ equation part, the equals 4, this looks just something like I just did on the other side. So let's simplify this. I would multiply, since I'm adding the logs, I would multiply their arguments. So I would get log base 3 of 9 times x plus 2 equals 4. When I s distribute this 9 in, into my log, or into the argument, I would get log base 3 of 9x plus 18 equals 4. Nothing else is happening to the log that I can get rid of, that I can do anything about, because this whole part, the 9x plus 18, is all inside the log, and I cannot pull stuff out of inside the logarithm. Okay? The only thing that I have left to try is to put this statement right here into exponential form. So if I'm trying to solve an equation and I can't do anything else when it says log, try exponential form. And look what happens when I try exponential form base 3, base 3, 3 to the 4th power equals 9x plus 18. Well, I know 3 to the 4th power is 81. This just now became a very easy Algebra 1 problem. Okay, Subtracting 18 from both sides gives me 63 equals 9x. Dividing both sides by 9 gives me x equals 7. Now, I don't have to worry about if that's correct or not. Because all I have to do, if I wonder, is take my calculator, 
go to a calculator page or my scratchpad calculator page and start entering the problem. Log base 3 of 9 plus log base 3 of x, which in this case is 7, plus 2. 4. Yes! Math. Okay? Problem number 2. I want to combine these two logs into one logarithmic statement. Log base 5 of x over 2 equals 3. I can't do anything else to get anything out of the log, so I try exponential form which is 5 to the third power equals x over 2. 5 to the third power is 125 equals x over 2. If I multiply both sides by 2, I get 250 equals x. Once again, to check and make sure that all my work is correct, I can say log base 5 of 250 minus log base 5 of two. Yes! Okay? So I know that that's correct as well. Problem number three. This multiplier in front is going to become an exponent on my three. So I have log base nine of three to the fourth power equals x. Well I know three to the fourth power is 81, so I can say log base nine of 81 equals x. If I put this in exponential form, I get 9 to the x power equals 81. 9 to what power equals 81? 2. Check it in your calculator. Number 4. Log base x of 12 plus log base x of 18 equals 3. I'm adding like logs, so I can combine those into 1, where I multiply 12 times 18. So I have log base x of 216 equals 3. Rewrite it in exponential form. x to the third equals 216. I can either take the cube root of both sides or I can raise both sides to the one-third power. Just like we did in a previous chapter, I know that 216 raised to the one-third power is 6. x equals 6. Check it in your calculator. Number 5. This 6 will become a multiplier up here for this 2. So I'll have log base x of 2 to the 6th power equals 2. I know that 2 to the 6th power, or if I don't know I can easily find out, is 64. Rewriting it in an exponential form gives me x squared equals 64. Square root both sides, x equals 8. Number 6. Number 6 looks like the hardest one, but it turns out it's not at all. Okay, Rewrite the log into uh, a, a condensed form um, as a single expression. x squared minus 12x. I'm subtracting, so I'm dividing the arguments. Each of these terms in the numerator is divisible by x. So I can say log base 4 of x minus 12 equals 1 because I divided each term by x. When I rewrite this into exponential form, I get 4 to the first power equals x minus 12. I know that 4 to the first power is 4, so I can add 12 to both sides, and I get x equals 16. Okay? I hope you have a great day.